CSGO. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Apologies if I sound sick, I'm coming off of sickness, but we're gonna go ahead and just grind this one out. I hate being sick, but one thing I don't hate is whatever this is. Recently, Stockholm stuff has absolutely taken off. It has gone completely nuclear. The Mouse Hollow approached $40 on the Steam Community Market, which is absolutely crazy. The main capsule comfortably sitting above $6 and many of the other hollows making a large run as well. We'll get into that, but real quick, no sponsor on this video. But if you want to buy some sick CSGO items, you can use one of my links in the description below on all of your favorite marketplaces, and that will support the channel. And if you don't want to put anything monetary into it, you can always just like the video, and that'll help the algorithm pick the video up a little bit more, and it's completely free. Also check out my Discord community down below if you want to ask some people from the community more questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get into it. So I think the main way that I want to tackle this topic of Stockholm is by looking at the past, present, and future. So we're going to go ahead and start at the past to give us an idea of where Stockholm has come from. So when Stockholm first released, people were very skeptical about it, and this skepticism was fair. There was a lot of overinvesting happening with the sticker market in general at the time, especially coming off of something like RMR. So naturally, people were skeptical that there was going to be some overinvestment occurring in Stockholm. Now this, of course, was despite the fact that Stockholm stickers just looked absolutely incredible. Pretty much everybody unilaterally agreed these were just beautiful looking stickers, but a lot of people were just bringing up the same old points that there was just going to be too much investment happening into the stickers due to both their looks and the prior investment knowledge we had with stuff like RMR. And as a result of this skepticism, there wasn't a huge amount of investment in this major. We actually saw some shockingly low supply numbers for the capsules in particular, which only a couple months after Stockholm sticker sale ended, we saw some really nice profit on these capsules. They were one of the most profitable investments of the entire year. This just kind of goes to show how skepticism can actually work in your favor and it's something to consider with Rio as well because people are so skeptical about the stickers due to how bad they look. Now you've already seen present day Stockholm so I won't talk about it too much but as you've seen the supply numbers have definitely dropped drastically and the amount of people investing in them now is kind of at an all-time high. Mao's hollows have already almost reached $40 at one point. Many of the other hollows are performing spectacularly well as well. Keep in mind this is not like Antwerp there were no glitter stickers in the entire Stockholm package so as a result all of the hollows are actually purples in the capsules, not pinks. They are a bit easier to get than the Antwerp hollows are. Now I think this present day trend kind of looks a lot like the Furia Katowice 2019 hollow trend, where it kind of had a really large spike initially where it kind of shot up to around the $50 range or so, and then after that it sort of leveled out. That's about where we're at with Stockholm at the moment, and then hype kind of died down on the Furia hollow for a little bit. It saw a huge spike approaching the $100 range, and then a subsequent level out. And this brings me into my future Stockholm prediction, which is that stickers are likely going to follow a similar trend. I think we could see the mouse hollow climb all the way up to the $70 area if we're lucky, and other hollows will see subsequent rises as well. And after that, they'll kind of level off or see even a large drop, and then they will sort of slowly increase in price over time as they decrease in supply due to these being just such immaculately well-designed stickers that people will be using for crafts for years to come. The capsules are going to be open for people to try and make that Gamba profit, and the stickers are going to find their way onto a few different AK red lines and AK slates, which will decrease the overall supply of these stickers for years to come. Basically, it looks like Stockholm will continue to be a good investment, and I think we still have some pretty big spikes to come. Now, to speak on Antwerp a little bit, although Antwerp has a lot more quantity available than Stockholm, there are a few things that make it an attractive investment as well. For one, the lower buy-in price is obviously nice for people that don't have as much to put into Stockholm, but another really nice thing about Antwerp is that the hollow stickers in it are actually at the pink tier, not the purple tier, so they're a lot harder to get from a capsule than the Stockholm hollows are. Now, albeit the Antwerp hollows do look worse in general than the Stockholm hollows, but they are still very, very good looking stickers and can fit on a ton of different crafts. The Antwerp Cloud 9 hollow, for example, is quite possibly the best iteration of a Cloud 9 team sticker we've ever seen. And that's reflected in its solid $12 price point that it's currently sitting at after rising for a while over the last month. I said this when Antwerp first released, but I really think that the fact that they have a pink tier hollow rather than a purple tier hollow can really work towards their favor in terms of an investment. Furthermore, the glitters are a new unique thing to Antwerp, which could also be an interesting factor going forward. Some of those glitter stickers like the Imperial and Cloud9 glitters look absolutely immaculate and they may prove to be great investments going forward as well. Not much talk about Rio as you may have guessed. Rio is just not a great iteration of stickers to be completely honest, and that is the biggest factor when it comes to CSGO investing. They just don't look very good. I think even if the quantity supplied of Rio stickers is 
is still really low. Prices are still going to remain in a low area because other than like some random gold autographs, who really wants to apply a bunch of Rio stickers onto their weapons? Now I wanted to talk a bit about some of these Stockholm stickers that I think are the most standout-ish out of the entire crowd of them. So for starting off, we have the most unique stickers. These are the ones that you can't really find anywhere else in Stockholm itself. And for that, it's going to be Movie Star G2 and Entropic. Entropic obviously being green with sort of a bronzing effect. G2 having a really interesting opal effect that we kind of saw in Broken Fang stickers. And then Movie Star being just like a very blue sticker. There's not really any other ones that look similar to this. The Liquid and the Shark sticker are more of a gray rather than a blue. Next is like the best reiteration stickers. These are ones that we kind of have in previous tournament years and these are sort of another version of them in a way. And for these we have Movie Star, VP, and Vitality. VP and Vitality both sort of being reiterations of the old Navi Hollow from Cato 15 or the old Vox Hollow. And the Movie Star sticker being a reiteration of 2015 Titan or 2014 Titan. And then for Hype B stickers, these are ones that just sort of have a ton of community hype around them for different reasons. That's going to be obviously Mouse and then also Pain Gaming, I think has a lot of hype behind it as well. These aren't very unique stickers because there's a lot of red stickers from Stockholm. You could consider Maus to be sort of a reiteration of like I by Power, for example. But in general, these two stickers, I would say, have pretty much the most community hype. I'm gonna just say this now as Nalo. You should probably keep your eye on Movie Star. That sticker is really, really cool, and we really haven't had very much like it in recent years whatsoever. It's a big throwback to like old Titan stickers, and especially the Cato 14 Titan sticker. It's a very, very blue sticker. It's a very good looking sticker as well, and it will definitely find its way onto a lot of crafts. Just just saying, might want to keep an eye on it. Mao's Hollow will obviously be the ringleader of all of these stickers. The first sticker to cross $100 will be the Mao sticker. It's a very big logo. It just looks phenomenal on a lot of crafts. Fits really, really well on stuff like AK Red Lines. So it's always going to be a really popular one. Now, like I said, we can expect to see another big jump on Stockholm, in my opinion. I think that it will follow very similarly to the Furia trend. The next jump is probably going to be a pretty huge one, and it'll probably send stuff really close to the $100 range. And then after that, things are probably going to level out and then decrease over time until we get to the point where it's just sort of decreasing in supply every single day and prices are going higher because they're harder to get. Now I realize I talked a lot about Stockholm Hollows specifically and that's because that's really the only thing you should be looking at for the most part other than the capsules themselves. The foils just kind of look bad. There's not really any good looking foils. You can make an argument for the Entropic foil. That one does look kind of decent but the other foils are like pretty bad for the most part. The gold stickers are pretty cool but there's plenty of very very similar iterations to a lot of the gold stickers so not really really something I would necessarily look towards. Kind of just keep your eye on the hollows. That's kind of where all the magic is. Those are the really special stickers from this iteration. But with that, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and spending your day with me. If you want to go ahead and support the channel, there are some links to some third-party marketplaces where you can pick up these stickers and more. If you want to go ahead and check out my Discord server or my Twitter to engage with me further, you can go ahead and do that with some links in the description as well. And if you don't want to do either of those two things, you can do something for free that only takes one second, and that's liking the video. That'll help me get out out there on the algorithm and help more people learning about CSGO investing. So that would be a very, very easy thing for you to do and very positive for my channel. And if you want my content to show up in your feed and get to it a lot easier and get to videos before anyone else, so you can hear about the greatest investment tips before anyone else does, be sure to click that subscribe button. It's completely free. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.